What's going on guys? My name is Tefty Teft. Welcome to another episode of Destiny. Today was the raid release of Wrath of the Machine for Rise of Iron. And we had a great time going through it. An absolute incredible experience being able to, to go through a raid blind, jump in, get new loot, experience new raid mechanics and designs. It was phenomenal. Well done, Bungie. Very impressed. Had a blast today. Uh, this is a quick, quick video about rewards that I got from being in there. I'm on my uh, my hunter right now. That was the second character that I did for the raid. I actually went in with my warlock initially, and that's actually the character that I leveled up and got to 377. Uh, I want to talk about light level also. It is recommended to be 370 or higher. If you go in with 360s, uh, the last boss is going to be very difficult to be able to do enough damage and be able to actually kill. So, highly recommended 370s unless you are DPS gods. When you, meaning you never miss a critical shot. Uh, 370s, our team was basically 5, 370 plus. I was 377. Uh, and then we had one person I think was below 370. Uh, so that's that's a little word to the wise. A lot of people got gear checked or locked out of being able to complete the raid because they didn't have enough people that were 370 or higher at that part of the raid. Uh, but enough about light level being locked out. I want to talk about what I got. What did I take away from two raids? And I think I opened up Two chests? Uh, two, two cash chests. There's Siva cash chests. What you get when you're in the raid is you get these uh, Siva key fragments. And then the key fragments do uh, two things, which I think is really cool. Uh, see this pair of gloves I got? Yeah. Got some gloves from a hunter. Hell yeah. This right here, new Siva directive, changes the stats and upgrades available on this Siva-based armor. This is so awesome because you get to re-roll your, your raid gear. If, in fact, I was like, oh, I got sidearm reload speed. I don't want that. And also no melee, increased melee speed or anything like that. Well, I can just re-roll it with new SIVA directive. Fantastic. This is exactly what I want. Exactly, exactly what I want. Uh, also, you can create a key or a cash key from, um, from these uh, saga... You can also create a cash key from these fragments and then be able to open up additional chests that are locked away that give you basically another possible another roll at loot essentially after certain encounters because I believe every major encounter had a, a cash key chest that showed up that you could that you could dip into I think it's once per week that you can dip into possibly I could be wrong on that so what I got was first off i got the fusion rifle this was one of the first drops that i got uh so far it's cool the the actual um wires on the fusion rifle light up when you get a kill out in the wild i think that's awesome perks are army one quick unassisted kills with this weapon reduced grenade and melee cooldown and then two for one doubles the effectiveness of the army of one perk so it's like a double down type of thing of uh army of one which is cool you get uh you get grenade and melee back really fast Comes with small bore, speed reload, and brace frame. These rolls do not change aside from the actual void, solar, or arc uh, flavor that it rolls with. Uh, it's um, it's a cool, cool fusion rifle. I still like my Archon's Forge fusion rifle better. Uh, it also in intrinsically comes with Whirlwind's Curse. This weapon does bonus damage against Fallen, bonus agility when this weapon's equipped as well. Agility is very important in this raid. Um, because you do a lot of running around, especially the last boss. The last boss, you have to run around the arena a lot to be ready for any possible scenario. Uh, and also, doing extra fallen damage, very useful because there's fallen everywhere in Siva, infected fallen. Uh, so that was the very first one. The second one that I got was Sound and Fury. And again, this was on my Warlock that I got this stuff. Again, intrinsically, Whirlwind's Curse it comes with. Uh, also, all these weapons, before you get the last node, uh, see, like, this last node is way for it. They look like regular, uh, say, like, Suros models and stuff like that. As soon as you hit the node, the scopes change to SIVA, and there's, like, SIVA, SIVA art stuff. Like, the, the SIVA gets in there. Like, the, there's actually holes in this um, this rocket launcher before you put in the, the last node, and then the SIVA shows up. It's really cool. I think it's a, it's a very interesting technique that they're doing. I'm sure they can do that partially because of ornaments now. They have the ornaments technology, so now they can put that into raid weapons, which essentially that's what's happening. Very cool. So this particular rocket launcher, spray and play. And the spray and play works very well. You reload super fast. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and then wait for it. Reloading this weapon when the mag is empty grants a larger than normal magazine. You might be thinking, whoa, clown cartridge? That's dope. And the magazine size is three? So you're going to get like four? Well, it takes it out of the inventory. And 
you only hold six rockets total. <laughs> so it's a little bittersweet. I was not as impressed once I realized that it takes out the inventory. I thought it just manifested a rocket out of thin air, uh, which was going to be awesome, but it doesn't. That being said, it could synergize really well with these gauntlets. Before I talk about the primaries, let's talk about these gauntlets. These gauntlets perk Scavenger's Boon, increased heavy ammo drops from fallen enemies. Fan. Fantastic. I mean, this was working so well in the last encounter. I almost never needed to pop a heavy synth. In fact, I don't think I needed to pop a heavy synth once. There was always bricks of heavy laying around as long as I was killing enemies. And I could just refill my G-horn that fast. It was great. Very great because, again, you need a lot of DPS for the last boss. Ideally, if you're 370 and above, so you're going to be unloading everything heavy, sniper crits, all that stuff. Uh, so the synergy behind these gauntlets... And this rocket could actually be phenomenal. Uh, I have not tried it yet because I was using the Galahorn during the last boss fight on multiple occasions. Or on the two times that we cleared it today, uh, I was using Galahorn. I have not cleared it on my third character yet. So that's something that I'm like super excited to do. Like I'm tired, but at the same time, super excited to jump in and play it again. Uh, so like I said, these gauntlets can synergize very well with these rockets. But they, they're great regardless because, again, G-horn ammo was just everywhere. Bricks were laying on the ground. It's like, oh, here's a brick. Here's a brick. Here's a brick. I can't wait to get these gloves on the, the on my Warlock and also my Titan when I start raiding on my Titan. So for primaries, the first one that I got was Genesis Chain. This is a auto rifle and it's a badass auto rifle. Again, comes with Whirlwind's Curse. So you get extra fallen damage and also the bonus agility buff. Focused Firefly. While Focus Fire is active, precision kills cause targets to explode. It's like Firefly, but on an auto rifle. And yes, that is badass. Trust me. Uh, so obviously, fire, uh, focus fire, not firefly, focus fire, and then it comes with speed reload, high caliber rounds, and hammer forge. I was using hammer forge. Speed reload might actually be better in general because of the way this um, this gun gets used. Because you want to like, you know, get that 30, 30 rounds back really fast. Uh, but the the firefly is it's a pretty meaty firefly. It's not a weak firefly, and it's on an auto rifle. And again, that's just freaking cool. Uh, it has, the, when you first get it again, like I said, you get the Soros regular uh, hologram sights. And then when you proc, or when you add in focus fire, it gets sievified and has the cool red scope type of thing. It is awesome. It is a badass weapon. I'm very happy I got it. It's become uh, one of my go tos, at least right now. I mean, it's day one with Raid, so I'm going to be using that a lot. And I used it also in the last encounter as well. It was very helpful for being able to clear out odds. Now, what I did not get yet, or what I got from the very last encounter that I haven't been able to use yet in the Raid, is Chaos Dogma. This is the Scout Rifle. A high-impact Scout Rifle that comes with Triple Tap, and then the final perk is Triple Double. When Triple Tap perk is triggered, an extra bullet is transferred from your reserves to the magazine. This is definitely important because without extended mag, and let's say a small bore, you have 10 in the magazine. That's a very small magazine for a scout rifle. Uh, but you are going to be proccing triple tap and triple double a lot on the last boss. This is definitely a boss melting legendary. Uh, and again, Whirlwind's Curse, of course. Uh, you know, I have the before and after this. So you can see all the, the red ropes on this scout rifle. If you look at this one, which has not been upgraded at all, there's no red ropes. Just looks like a regular Omelon, uh, Omelon uh, Scout Rifle. Yeah, pretty cool. So just going into regular PvE stuff, Chaos Dogma was a little underwhelming. But uh, for bosses or heavy DPS re required a type of things like a boss crit spot or tanks that have infinite crit spots and all that, you're going to be tri uh, proccing triple tap and triple double a lot. And it's going to melt. Because again, high impact, very, very high impact scout rifle doing work, doing damage and work. It's great. And finally, the last piece of gear that I want to show, which I think is probably one of the ugliest pieces of gear, <laughs> the red miasma hood, uh, the helmet dropped for my warlock. Good Lord, that's ugly. <laughs> I mean, bleh. Ugly. Uh, let's have a look at the perks here. Uh, Elin Elitsky, Elits, Elixkins, Elixni, Elixni immunity. On or pickup, take less damage from Fallen for a short time. That's definitely useful. 
uh, because again, there's fallen everywhere and you're constantly running around. The freaking shanks show up everywhere on that final encounter. Oh my gosh. Uh, it comes with infusion, shine on, increase like all that stuff. And again, new SIVA directive, you can re-roll it, which I think honestly is one of the coolest features. Uh, armor from raids need this. It really does because a lot of times you just kind of want to re-roll stuff. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. So yeah, aside from it being just butt ugly, um, yeah, I'm happy I got the helmet. That's about it. And on my Warlock, I did actually roll with the transversive steps, and they actually came in pretty clutch, not going to lie. They, uh, there was times where I just rolled over, uh, picked up some heavy, and suddenly my G-Horn was refilled, and I was like, yes, this is absolutely useful. Definitely. Guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, I just wanted to make a quick overview about what I got day one so far. Two raids deep, two raids in. It took us four and a half hours, and I loved it. Absolutely loved the raid. Uh, it is a fantastic, fantastic raid. Really fun, atmospheric art design is just, it's classic Bungie. They really know how to create a, an environment that feels epic. So epic is absolutely, it's action meets epic. And it's not, uh, it's not too short either. It's not as long as King's Fall. Uh, it's like in between Crota's End and Vault, Vault of Glass, around there. Guys, follow me on twitter.com forward slash Teft if you want to know when I go live on twitch.tv forward slash Tefty Teft. I always tweet out when I'm going live or tweet out things that I've gotten, screenshots and stuff like that. Um, hope to see you guys in the future. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Sub to the channel if you want more content. And I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.